channel. I'm Sophie and this is my channel where I talk about slow living, intentionalism and veganism and how that all impacts our lives. And today I thought it would be interesting to show you guys around my kitchen and my pantry. So if that's interesting to you, please keep watching, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. So as you guys know, I follow a whole food plant-based diet and that will be reflected in what's in my pantry. And we've just recently been to a discount store where we stocked up on all our bulk items and bought our spices and cans. So I'll show you guys everything we have. But first, I want to show you how we keep our fresh fruits that doesn't go to the fridge. So behind me here is where we store our fresh fruit. So let's just scoot closer and have a look. This is the area where we keep our fruits and normally we have bananas, lemons, we have more apples than that, we need to stock up on that. We have fresh ginger, we have a couple of uh, avocados laying around and this is really nice and soft so that'll be gone by dinner. And we'll ha we also have some grapefruit, and by some I mean a lot. And we also found some blood oranges that's uh, going into our morning elixir. So this is how our fresh corner looks like. Basically, this doesn't really change. Sometimes we have some kiwis, but all our other fresh fruit goes into the fridge, which I won't show you guys today. This is the area where we keep our spices and it's right above our oven and cooking area so it's really easy to access and as you can see I saved up some glass jars from like jams and uh, various spices and sauces to basically put in items that we use a lot and go through a lot so I need to stock up on some nutritional yeast but that has the biggest job because nutritional yeast is life basically and we also have onion powder black salt you guys if you haven't tried black salt I highly encourage you to try it because it's life-changing we also have cinnamon and Himalayan salt and while we're at it I might as well continue with this row that's uh, some salt with dried herbs that's one of my favorite uh, spices from the Wicked Kitchen from the UK and some Italian herbs that I also have a bulk uh, packaging of so I refill this bottle when it's finished and this is also a slightly spicy uh, spice mix puri puri or puri puri how do you pronounce it I don't know I love it in curries, I love it on just steamed vegetables and on top here uh, we have some liquid soap and soap salt and this is game changing. I use it in ragouts, in soups, in stocks and it's just it's a game changer especially so because it's a hickory smoke so it's a, uh, that's my favorite salt or like smoky flavor. This is uh, uh, the European version of liquid aminos, I guess. It's basically a very thick broth. It's quite salty, so I have to be very careful with it, but I really like it just to give any dish really some depth and more flavor. This is my killer bird's eye chili mix. It's not a mix, it's just chili, and I love it. Danielle is not a big fan, but I love that. Uh, that's uh, another version of oh my god it's written in German and now and my, my brain has stopped working this is cinnamon this is uh, from my dear friend Esther that she kind of gifted us last year and this is also a recycled and upcycled jar and this has a barbecue curry beetroot powder that I really like to put in my Madagascar curry and these are two types of curry powders that I tried I got them last year because of the of their size and I'm quite happy about them and there's some dried Thai basil but I don't like that because it smells really good when I open 
the jar but there's just no flavor added to the dish once it's in there so i'm i'm just going to use it up and not buy that again and over there we have our vitamin d complex from vivo life we also have our omega-3 also from vivo life and that's some iodine in the corner but you can't see that and this is also from vivo life uh, their multi-vegan vegan multi-nutrient capsule so we take either one or two a day uh, depending on how we manage to get our heads around the day and this is something i got recently this is like a women's body like sparkling uh nutritional drink so yeah i drink that once a day and there's some more curry spices over there that's also quite hot and some soy sauce in the back and yes i keep my soy sauce when it's open over there because we go through it quite quickly so this is our spice rack this is where we keep our refillables or refills so we have some oats some mixed oats some dried peas some dried yellow peas and some some beans, black beans, uh, some of the barbecue blend that I showed you earlier in the spice rack, uh, some bigger couscous, more salt, more salt, uh, some extra tahini, black rice, I have some yellow split peas, some rice. This is where we keep our onions, but we don't have a lot, but they go here. And this is the, the onion powder that we got from the discount store because you can't get onion powder anywhere else and we just got a kilo of it. So that's our bulk and fill up store in storage. This is the other shelf we have. These are some extra spices that we don't use that often but we still have some barbecue mix, some cumin, some sweet paprika, uh, dried coriander and some nutmeg. And this is the large version of the Italian uh, spices uh, that I use to fill up my small one over here. And over there I have some opened nut bags. So I have some pine nuts open, some sesame seeds, some black sesame seed. And up here I have my tomato paste and puree section and in that I store, in the blue jar, I store red lentils and I keep a big bag of red lentils in another space and I just fill that up because it's way more convenient and in the bag there's some more dried lentils but they are the more traditional black brownish lentils and uh, cashews for cashew sauce and some rice and uh, I think What's, what's that? Is this couscous? Yes, this is couscous. Uh, I like couscous because you only add, it's a one-to-one -one ratio with water and you just add equal amounts of hot water to the couscous and let it sit for two to three minutes and it's ready to go and it's really, really easy to cook and a quick meal. And also up there, these are just Daniel's dates because he takes dates when his blood sugar levels go low so we have that's a medjool date that's a smaller variable sm smaller version mazafati date and um, yeah this is everything that's on the top shelf and this is like our breakfast area. We have oats in the blue bin or blue tin. That's some coffee that we try to bulk buy but not usually manage. We have some peanut butter. We have some tahini for uh, dressings and guacamole. We have Brazil nuts that we eat one of every day for selenium, chia seeds and some backup seeds in the back. So this is our breakfast stool. And over here we have some t 
tea. We also have some supplements, some probiotic powders. Uh, this was sent from California from Annie, actually. So Annie, if you're watching, thank you very much. We use this a lot. And um, over here, this is just a random miscellaneous baking section. So we have some ground almonds, maple syrup, uh, nutmeg, cinnamon, baking soda and baking powder. And there's also a top shelf that I show you in a second. And on the top shelf, we just have some miscellaneous random, oh, again, filling up items. So that's uh, a coconut milk. Uh, in the bag, we have another two bags of the vegan multinutrients from Vivo Life because whenever it's available, we stock up because it's usually sold out. So we have some backup. So thank you very much. Our vegan nutrition is covered. And that's some honey that we got sent from California and Sinitas actually and it's an organic honey and very rarely I would eat it with some walnuts but as you can see there's nothing almost nothing uh, missing from it so that's a very rare occasion and some peanuts and some uh, mold wine spices in the corner over there so that's the other side of our kitchen and finally this is the section that's above the fridge so it's not really easy to access but it's quite tall and it's the only place where i can fit our balsamic vinegar and apple cider vinegar so these two are these two live here and it's they make a bomb dressing together apple cider vinegar balsamic vinegar tahini and some miso paste and this is what I told you guys about this is like a four kilo bag of red lentils that we keep in here and I refill the other blue tin from this bag and these are our refillables we use this for our morning elixir uh, we squeeze lemon grapefruit and blood orange and keep it in the fridge and that's just my uh, thermal bottle from the time I visited Michigan. It's a bottle from Gaia and I really enjoy that. And I might as well show you what's in the fridge because it's not a big fridge and it will not be a detailed tour but it has a lot of our bulk items now. So we have a large smoked to tofu here and another big just normal tofu here so that's also from the discount store and this is the uh, smoothie jar that i talked about earlier that we keep uh, i used to drink this in one sitting and now it's just too sweet for me so i dilute it in like two thirds of this to one thirds of water and there's some coconut milk uh, that's from Daniel's grandparents. It's like a paprika mix to add to vegetable stock. That's also that's a blueberry jam. Uh, we also found some miso paste, so I'm pretty happy about that. And some hummus, some cherries from the garden from last year. And we also like to keep these in the fridge. These are very clean curry pastes, and the ingredients, as you can see, are very just clean there's no added sugar no oil and we really like this brand so we have the yellow and the green one because this brand also does a red one but that has shrimp in it and i don't really want the shrimp and that's some indulgent uh, vegan cream and some basil cream so that's everything on the fridge side from the stock up no so that's everything that we have in our fridge that's like bulk items and everything else is uh, fresh so that's everything that we have in the kitchen it's not the world's biggest kitchen but it works just perfect for us and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it inspires you to just simplify the way you eat and maybe stock up on some bulk items that you can find in your local supermarket and just cook and eat a little bit more carefully and a little bit more consciously so uh, as always I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one bye